Excuse me? Oh. Hey, what's oh. up? Hello, do you work on cars here? Hey, yeah, we're just two guys with a hangar. What, uh, what do you need done? I'll help you out. It's eco boost. You need us to tune it? Go out the boost, get a track ready? No, I'm just looking to get, uh, a tune-up. Spark plugs, change, basic stuff like that. Tune-up? We're supposed to just maintenance stuff. Does anybody do anything fun to their cars anymore? I'm just trying to keep my car on the road. It's just scram. Man, I don't want to do anything. Wow. Wait, 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 wait. Mike, maintenance, it's like the biggest thing that we do here. You know what? Uh, go ahead and pull into the shop. That's good customer service right there. We're not, we're not a shop. I'll be in the lobby. and welcome back to the hangar hideout. Now it seems as though Dr. Dills has volunteered us to do some maintenance work on this here Ford. Now if you're anything like me, you kind of push maintenance off to the wayside and you put your projects up in the beginning of the line. But before Dills even says something, maintenance is important. It's gonna keep your car running better and it'll run for a lot longer. Let's face it, cars are expensive. Well today, we're gonna be working on this 2013 Ford F-150 EcoBoost. And Dr. Dills here is gonna do a little maintenance on it. Uh, we're gonna do maintenance on it. I only do the fun stuff. I make things go fast. Uh, you know cars go more than like vroom vroom, right? It's more to being an engineer than wearing a dirty lab coat too. So today we have our 2013 Ford F-150 with an EcoBoost V6. Uh, the car has got 109,473 miles, and it is ready for its tune-up. The goal in the tune-up is to make sure that the car runs efficiently. So we're going to be doing spark plugs, addition coil, and an air filter to make it run just a little better for the gentleman that showed up and decided to do a tune-up. So let's locate the areas of where we're going to do work. First, we have the air box. Get out of here. Then we have the engine cup. Get out of here. Now with the engine cover off, now with the engine cover off, we could see right on the sides here the coil packs that we're going to be removing for this engine. Air filter's done. That was easy. Can we do anything uh, challenging in here? We're just gonna continue doing this maintenance stuff. So I'm glad we're doing this tune-up today. Um, one of the things that you find out, especially when you start going through uh, cars, trucks, no matter what, if you haven't replaced spark plugs in a while, is the actual original stock gap. So the stock gap on a Ford F-150 should be 0 0.040. This is our gapping tool. If I go all the way around, it basically goes through the entire thing, which means it's bigger than 0.1. That's pretty bad. That's bad, real bad. So we're gonna gap these the right way, 0 0.030, and put them back in the truck and see how it runs. So grab one of the new Motocraft spark plugs and these are pre-gapped and I could barely fit the 0 .3, 0 0.030 through it, which is great uh, in comparison to the 1.987483 that was there before. I don't even know how the truck was running. I'm glad this guy brought it in. So I'm glad that uh, we visually inspect all the parts before we put them in. But if you can see, this one has a little clip issue on it. And then when going through another coil, whole piece broke. So we're gonna run over to Advanced Auto Parts and uh, get them to replace two of them. See you in a couple. One hour later. All right, so we got back from the store and got us some new ones. These actually look proper. So always make sure to check your parts before you leave the store. Mm -hmm. 
done with the tune-up here on our Ford F-150 EcoBoost. Now don't forget while you're in the bay doing the tune-up, do your visual checks. Look for corrosion on your battery posts, look for cracks on your serpentine belt, and of course don't forget to check for an oil leak. But now that we're done, I think we should go tell our friend over there that his car's done and what we found. Hey man, we're done with your tune-up. Um, we took a look at the engine bay looks like your serpentine belt probably the next time you do maintenance keep an eye on it might want a new one but you and that you're all good to go i'm just good with the tuna though but uh appreciate it thanks no extras no add-ons i it, it was literally just giving you advice and i'm not trying to make a sale we're not a shop but a man i'm out of here all righty that's all we got for you here today i hope you learned a thing or two maybe you'll be a little more inclined to do some scheduled maintenance on your car you made it this far in the video, and I thank you, but why not leave us a like, maybe even a subscribe. You can leave us a comment too. I'm wearing the pink pants again. It's the second time if you've noticed. Anyways, I wanna thank you guys for coming on by, and especially, thanks for hiding out with us. Hey, thanks for all the hard work, fellas. Make sure to leave you a good review on Yelp. Appreciate it, have a good one. Thank you, see you later. Come again. What? We're not a shop, we're not a business. What is wrong with you people? Ah! So let's locate. You're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> like Wayne's World. Alrighty, that's all right. We're all done doing the tune-up on our Ford. Then. All right, we're done doing the tune-up on our Ford F-150 here. Um, I don't know what the fuck I was gonna say. All right. I'm, I do this a lot. I'm like, bunky, bunky. <laughs>